Hello and welcome back everyone to Rocket Rabbit Commentaries and today we're going to be starting a brand new video game back from the PlayStation 3 era because um, this actually was ported to PC relatively quickly and I was able to score a, co a copy of it from Redacted Means so uh, yes 2006 through 2012 and 13 were great years for PlayStation <laughs> That's why she's about to tragically mm. fall off a the roller coaster. I can't believe it. I promise this uh, is an actual video game. It's not going to feel like a video game for like the first several minutes, but it is a video game. Uh, well, that's the beauty of modern games. While we talk over the subtitle text and the newscaster talking about what is apparently a global viral outbreak happening, that the narratives have gotten so strong that it will ensconce the player not only quickly but also quite thoroughly so they will want to return to the game <clears throat> resident evil village <laughs> well no we are uh, we're going we're going back to new york mr cloud and i don't think i'm not entirely sure if any of our playthroughs have been in new york except for maybe transformers Control actually. Control takes place at the at the federal. Oh, Bureau control takes place in a City. building in New York. We're actually going to exactly. be exploring a good portion of New York uh, in, this, I see. in this playthrough, including Maya School. Don't go causing any panic. There's a massive panic happening in Manhattan. Mm. And a shit ton of arm and a shit ton of armaments flowing in and out of the city. And this also this very soft piano instrumental will Behold, finally rising action Prototype to title drop. For those of you two. wondering why we're not doing Prototype 1, it's because I've never played Prototype 1. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to compare <laughs> Prototype 2 to a lot of the other uh, uh, open world uh, uh, action-adventure games that have come out recently. Specifically, Spider-Man for the PS4. A game I won't be doing because although it's getting a, PS, uh, a PC port later on this year, It'll be like a whole two years before we get, uh, before we actually have the ability to get to that. So, yeah. I see. You only really have the more immediate spreading circles of pain, suffering, viral disease, infection, and also martial law in effect. Yep. Mm. It's a good thing New York could never get hit with this kind of a pandemic, right, Mr. Cloud? <laughs> Well, they should all be thankful that they don't turn into fungal monsters with parasites in their brains controlling what they do, making them eat each other. Actually, we know of the fate of one uh, of, of one of the uh, of one of the three characters um, uh, that uh, at, at the end of the game, but not uh, but not the other one. So. Mm. A good third of this report is a lie. <laughs> Psych. This is not real. Mm. Hey, Heller. This is our primary. Uh, pro this is our primary uh, point. Of well, not this uh, character. Um, but actually, yes, this is our uh, primary point of view character, James Heller. James Heller just been reinstated double o status confirmed knife sharpened Ninja three three, this is Shogun. How copy? so are we going to be using the knife mr gerda uh what now are we going to be using that knife that he was sharpening sadly no the uh we end up losing our oh <laughs> uh, we end up losing the knife uh during this cutscene. so Nothing. You, want to leave a patrol you, you don't to retain anything that's precious in this world. That's a little bit of foreshadowing there. Yes, uh, some uh, something threw a car at the tank and the tank just tumbles the fuck over. Behold, the hellscape that is New York in 20XX. Mm. And we James Heller has got a, a bandolier of shotgun shells, both Let's around his arms feet. and around his chest. <laughs> I must pick up a weapon in order to fight off my enemies. Mm. 
Yeah, this is starting to look like that one game, Extermination, that instead of taking place on just one ship at an outpost in the Antarctic, it's actually taking place in New York City, which is much more heavily populated and also lots of feels about having this very beautiful landscape destroyed by disease And here is the protagonist of the previous game. And aliens. Hey, All right. Alex. This is Prototype 2. Alex Mercer. Alex Mercer. Meet Prototype 1. Alex Mercer. The one from whom the disease is named after. Mm, yes. Uh, uh, Alex Mercer is not, as, is not actually the progenitor of the Mercer virus, but he effectively controls it right now, so... Vengeancing! Right. What the You really thought Ouch. it was that easy to just take out Alex Murder. <laughs> His leather jacket finds us hysterical. It should have been that easy, but this is Alex Mercer after the events of Prototype 1, so uh yeah, he is he is mostly immortal. Family photo trope. Heller, and you can't you can't successfully kill someone with a surprise attack if you're screaming at them. Come on. I'm I'm sorry. Wait, wait, were you just stabbing me, or was that a mosquito bite? What else you got? Mm. Welcome to the tutorial. No, we're going to be spending the entirety of this part in tutorial land, so... I mean, just as long as they're not doing that one other trope of games that will automatically have me start guessing as to why Alex Mercer's intentions are. Yeah, sure, uh, let's follow well, along the guy who's basically public enemy number one. Well, here's the thing. James uh, James doesn't actually give a shit what Alex Mercer's intention is. He's here strictly on a, on a, on a quest of revenge. He blames uh, Alex for the death of uh, Colette and Maya. And, uh, yeah. And he uh, wants to kill Alex over it. We're being lured into a trap. Fascinating. Please help me! Oh, God, help me! Mm. That is a brawler. We will have to fight those later. And as a point of fact, Al um, James, end up spend, uh, James spends a small part of this tutorial killing the brawler with his knife. Just later. <sighs> well, at least we have some use for the knife. Uh, we do not actually. No. One of the things that um, that comes up rather, uh, uh, rather disappointingly throughout the game is that a lot of uh, a lot of James more a lot of James's uh, more cool slash badass moments are cutscenes, like this one. Yes, Alex just drop kicked the fucking helicopter out of the goddamn air. Well, I mean, of course, he's got super bad guy Albert Wesker powers. Uh. His powers are are um are less badass than Wesker's. He doesn't really have super speed. He just he just has endurance and strength for the most part. Hello, Goliath. We need to run away from you. Sprinting away from the Goliath Mon. Now, the presentation the for Prototype 2 is fucking amazing. I, I know that we're talking over uh, the tutorial sequence, but I actually love the uh, tone setting and uh, and a, a lot of the uh, expositional stuff that happens uh, for this tutorial and uh, the first several hours of the game. Uh, uh, the presentation gets a bit worse when we once we get into the mid-game, but that's mostly because uh, we end up following a few too many characters around. Well, maybe hey, that's brawler. how maybe that's how Resident Evil succeeds at the whole bioweapon formula in premise and games is that it also is not afraid of killing off any character at any time as long as they have not appeared in previous games. Yeah, he's gonna get infected. Infected isn't quite the right word. I mean it is what's gonna happen to him, but it's just not the right term for it. 
He's going to try. I also that. love yeah, the stylistic choice of, ha of having uh, uh, of having our uh, cutscenes in black and white, safe for the splashes of red. Black and white photography. Oh yeah, of course. Of course, they have to splash in some color. Yeah, black and white photography is definitely a welcome thing to my eyes. And so we have lost our knife, and we'll never see it again. Uh, oh, oh, Lord, no, not there, not there. Oh, please, oh, God, help me. Mm. And so James Heller has become a dead person. Going to be the first retransmogrified zombie. Powers of memories, swing sets, opening doors. I will fear no evil. Dead family? Ah, I see. So everybody's Backstory, dead. Backstory, Mr. Cloud. Backstory. This guy's got a lot of uh, baggage. So we're going yes, on a, a little lot of trip. emotional baggage, uh, baggage from events that happened the, uh, uh, prior to the game's beginning. Not in the last game, but prior to the game's opening. But yeah, we have still retained consciousness. Ah, uh, kind of. We're, we're flitting in and out of consciousness right now. Hey, Rooks. The system is flooded with the virus, which is why you're going to run these experiments, Doctor. And if you don't like the results, Colonel Rooks, then what? Heller is Gentech property now. Things go sour, you burn the room. Burn? Oh, yeah, that's, that reminds me of a little joke I heard. I don't know. I, it could also be 100% legit, but I haven't done any research, but I'll share it with the channel anyway. How, if you're in the military, that if you get a sunburn, that it is a crime to get a sunburn because you are the property of the United States military and you cannot damage United States government property. <laughs> mm, so what, you're going to sue the sun? No, you're going to sue the soldier. That is terrible. Where am I? What the fuck is this? Suppose you become sick with hypothermia. No, or is it is it hypothermia? No, no, no. It would be hy but one of the hypos. Yeah, that means you probably won't be that useful. For example, I mean, how are you supposed to do your job for your country if you don't have the wherewithal to punch zombies with great force? Mm, not quite. We, 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 I mean, we just did a heavy attack against a group of zombies. Well, this seems rather familiar for a game opening. Mm, we must defeat the infected. Okay, Remember, so Heller has both observing. a light attack combo and uh, and, uh, and a charged heavy attack. Um, it is uh, if you're in if you're in your melee stance, it is rather important that you uh, switch up in between the two. But to be perfectly honest, for a majority of the game, you're not ever gonna be you're not really gonna be using this particular stance uh, with Heller, um, hmm. especially after we get to um, our fir our first evolution. But this is uh, this is uh, a, an interesting way to show off that Heller uh, effectively got um, uh, Al uh, Alex's super strength uh, from the uh, uh, from the infection. Yeah, you used to do what with the bodies? <laughs> you sick bastard! Mm. Oh come on, we just hung them upside down for a couple of hours. Yep. We drained all the blood out of him, boys. Yes, sir. Okay, now remember, to, this is just procedure. <laughs> Consume the Blackwash Trooper? Yes. So, uh, as was as was the case in Prototype One, although I didn't actually play that game, we have the ability to heal. Uh, we have the ability to heal ourselves in combat by con uh, by consuming um, a nearby biomass. Mm. And Heller is much much more gr uh, gruesome about it than honestly he really should be. But given uh, but given his uh, <laughs> his quest, you know what? I'm okay with that. Heller is a fucking badass. 
You know, many games have the answer of, oh, let's just have Havoc make the body fall when the enemy dies. And this game is much more efficient because the will, yeah, we get will to actually... We those bodies now, motherfucker. Yeah, it solves the problem of where the bodies go. Well, they go into the character, of course. <laughs> mm. Mm. Target. And throw! Invitation More cutscenes. This should look uh, 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 similar to a Shadow of the Hedgehog escaping uh, Eggman's lab in Sonic Heroes. Uh, I was going to say uh, Kerrigan getting all the Protoss loose in Heart of the Swarm, except for the part that she didn't, you know, go AWOL at that point. Or after. What the hell is this? It's what you're meant for. It's why I chose you. Bullshit, Mercer. Oh, so, he, oh, so this dude just gets to come in anytime he wants. He, he's the outsider. Uh -huh. Yeah, Mercer is effectively the outsider from Dishonored, and with the exception of he's not actually omnipotent or omniscient. It just The game wants you to believe that he is. This is a bioweapons test. Designed by Gentech. Controlled by Blackwatch. Blamed on me. Part of that is actually true. This peon here is going to prove it to you. James Heller... Meet Blackwatch Lieutenant Mark Simon. With my super Mercer virus powers, I'm going to interrogate him. Well, not interrogate them. We're going to a mind probe him. Oh, cool. Oh, so he's just going to, you know, make the milkshake straw extend from Heller to what's his name so that we can get a little story in our minds. He cannot remain at large. Oh, you afraid he might fuck things up even more? I was on the Gentech team that developed that virus, Simon. In 1964, I will not see my life's work ruined. Backstory. Bitch. What the hell was that? Every living thing you consume makes you stronger. You take their shapes, and you take their memories. And you take that's their a clothes. Lot of, it's very that's important a that we establish <laughs> that. I've heard you talk. It's going to be a lot of memories of some good porn going through the some of these guys heads. Make me believe you over them. No. They cut you, Heller. They put you in a cage with 50 starving infected and then they tried to burn you alive. Yeah, I'm a monster, Alex. I get that. I didn't release the virus. And I didn't kill your wife and kid. That is the first big red flag. Why the fuck does Mercer know about that? Because he did it! <laughs> For the record, no. Mercer did not actually kill Colette or Maya. But, um, he did get blamed for it, so... There's something you need to do first. gentech has been experimenting with the virus. Making all kinds of infected creatures. You yeah, need that DNA. you ought to see them in the bestiary. As, as your level increases, so too will the level of your enemies. And for God's sake, man. Not, not actually. I mean... Uh, our enemies will get stronger as the game progresses, but only very slightly. And in the next episode, we'll actually start the open world segments of Prototype 2. Be safe, everybody. Our main character is now a clothing closet. <laughs>